OK, let's write this program. Here is the problem. Ask the user to enter the number of apples and the number of oranges they bought. Ask the price for each and calculate the cost for apples and the oranges and the total cost as well. So we need to know the price for apples. We need to declare variables. Apple price. Remember, your variable should always be meaningful. It tells you what it is. We need the orange as well, orange price. And we can stop there, and we can do another line. And we need to calculate the um, number. We need also know how many they bought. So apple number, orange number. And we also need to know the total cost and the cost for each. So I will just continue. Apple cost, orange cost, and the total cost, right? OK. That's the uh, variable declarations. I will put my comments here, variable declaration. And this is also called um, documentation. It tells you what your code is doing. So the next part is we want to get the user input. Prompt for user input. We prompt for user input and get it and get. OK. So we type C out, enter the number of apples you bought. Now we need to get that number from the user. And we use an input statement, C in. And remember this direction. And we want to place this number in what? Um, apple number. So apple number. OK. And we do the same thing for orange. So I entered, enter the number of oranges you bought. We put that input into orange number. And then how much is each apple? And we put that into apple price. And we ask how much is each orange? And we put that input, whatever the user enters, into orange price. OK, now we got all the input we want, we need. And we can now calculate apple cost and orange cost and the total cost. Um, so this section is to do the calculation. Remember, this is called comments, documentation. OK, so <clears throat> when we calculate the, uh, when we do calculations, we need to do an assignment statement. That means our destination location is on the left hand side. So Apple cost, that is where we want to store the result. Uh, assignment operator, the Arithmetic expression is on the right hand side. So how do we calculate the apple cost? The number of apples multiplied by the apple price. So apple number, and you can simply click, double click, uh, multiplied by, that is the star sign, um, apple cost. And it's right here, apple cost. OK, that will give you the apple cost. And we do the same thing for orange cost. Uh, of course, it will be orange number multiplied by orange cost. OK. So now that is done. And the next thing we want to do is to calculate the total cost. To do the total cost is very easy. We just add those two together. So apple cost 
plus orange cost. That's it. Um, these are called assignment statement. Remember, the uh, arithmetic calculation is always on the right-hand side. And the destination, that means where you want to put that value, is always on the left-hand side. Now let's display the information. To display, we use C out. OK, I'm going to just write it, and then I will explain it. OK, I wrote this part of the record. Now let me explain this. So um, here we use one C out, and then this is the insertion operator. Whatever, remember we said, whatever you want to display, you must put it inside the quotation marks. This is called a string. And then, this apple number is not a string, it's not text, it is a variable. So you must use another insertion operator to connect them. So you have bought close the string, close the text, and insertion operator put your variable here. This will be replaced by the value in that variable. And then you want to connect it with another piece of text, so you need insertion operator here and the quotation marks, apples. Notice I have this space, so that you have the number and space. And here, notice the space. OK. And this is the new line character. It will go to the next line. So this end will start in the next line. Actually, maybe we do not need that. So let me delete that. Um, since I'm going to the next line in my statement, I need to close that quotation marks, and I need to have a new insertion operator to connect them. If I don't go to the next line, if I do this, okay, I can just go on. But if I go to the next line, I have to always have this insertion operator, remember. Okay, so this is apples and orange number, this is a variable, remember the value, we replace this variable, and um, space, oranges, now we go to a new line, go to the next line. And then apple, the apples cost, uh, this is the same thing, okay. So here I'm just using another statement, can I just delete this C out? Yes, but if I delete that C out, I need to take this semicolon out. Okay, see, this is what you do. If you say, I want to keep doing this, that's fine. But then it's one statement, so you need to make sure you delete that semicolon. Okay, this makes sure this line goes to the new line and total cost. And this is equivalent to a new line character. So instead of doing <coughs> this, you can just do this. So now I have two new line characters. Let's run this program. Well, now you see when I run, it says zero succeeded, one failed. That means I did not succeed compiling. That means I have syntax errors. So do I want to continue? No, I want to find the errors. Let's see, it says the error is in uh, line 21, so double click here, it should go to 21. Okay, it's right here. Apple cost, hmm, what's wrong? Um, it says uninitialized local variable, Apple cost used. Okay, let's go up. Apple cost, did I? Apple cost, so that's good. Oh, okay. I said I used the wrong uh, name. It's not apple cost, but apple price. Okay, so this is not orange cost, but orange price. So that's what it is. When you use a variable that does not have a value yet, how can it calculate for you? Because it doesn't have a value yet, right? 
So um, that's what this is saying. It's uninitialized. Okay, now let's run. Okay, enter the number of apples you bought. Um, so I bought 23 and enter the number of oranges, 34. How much is each apple? $2. How much is each orange? $4. Remember, do not use decimal numbers here. We haven't learned that yet. Okay. So you have bought that many apples and 34 oranges. The apples cost $46 and the oranges. Okay. So that is the output. Hmm. Where is it? Okay. Um, let's just now I close that window. Okay. I bought 23 and 34 and $2 and three dollars and then you see the result okay so this is um, when you do that and then you enter the number it goes to that variable and let's look at the display look at the display compare the, the display with this okay you will see you have bought um, apple number is replaced by whatever number that is that's 23 apples and 34 oranges, right? Oranges and new line character. So it goes to the next line. The apples cost, whatever the apple cost is, we calculate it and the orange cost. And new line character, so the total cost go to the next line. And since we have two new line characters here, one is in this format, one is this name. So now we have an empty line here. So that's how this works.